Away they go. Great start from Danny and from Jason Plato on the second row. Also Colin Turkington coming up through the middle in the MG. But it's Danny who's got the edge as they go into the first corner. And Reed has to settle for second place. Plato's up to third. Matt Neal on the grass as he comes through Old Hall. Gets back onto the track safely, trying to make up some ground. But Matt Neal, of course, carrying quite a lot of ballast as he comes down towards Cascades, putting the pressure on James Kay. There's Thompson on the outside. Muller was on the inside, hasn't made much progress. And up front, it's Dan Eves with a great opportunity here. He's never won a British touring car race, but at the moment he's in front of Anthony Reid. Great start by Dan Eves. This is a real opportunity for him. Further back, there's lots of squabbling in the pack. There were three abreast here, both the uh, Sayats and Rob Collard on the inside. Rob could get this place. He's on the inside. He's got the speed down the straight. Three into one. Difficult. Oh! Oh, it's tight, tight, tight. Plato and him make contact, and it's Huff. It's Huff who suffers. Rejoins. Collard's up the third. And that's interesting because Plato and Collard had a war of words in the paddock yesterday and it's become a war on track in race two here. Absolutely, but Collard was in the right place there. He was on the inside, it was very tight. Rob did nothing wrong at all. He's made another good start like he did in the first race. Huff went across the grass and the rules say that if you don't gain an advantage, you can carry on and not stop. If you do look like gaining an advantage, you have to stop, but it's positions held at the moment. Meanwhile, in trouble, Sean Watson-Smith, and look at the damage to the front splitter. Let's just see what happened. On board with Watson-Smith, he was dicing with Luke Hines here. There was just a little bit of contact, and it was enough to put the Proton onto the grass, sending him into a big, big spin, and that, I think, has shredded the front splitter from his car. There's Luke Hines with rear bodywork trailing, just ahead still of Mike, Michael Bentwood. They're running 13th and 14th, Plato's got an inside overlap now on Collard, but Collard's a bit quicker out of the hairpin, and I think he may be able to cover it back again. Oh, this is exciting stuff. Remember, oh dear, oh dear, moving across to take the inside. He just had enough to move across, but it's getting very tight. <laughs> that was very tight. We've seen that maneuver end in tears a lot of times, but um, it looked as though Rob just had enough of an overlap to move over, if, uh, or, or he had some cooperation from Jason just lifting a little bit, but that could so easily have been turning the car into the barriers, but uh, Plato's putting the pressure on. It's so intriguing, this battle between the two of them, who had a real argument in the, uh, just, just about around the time of the driver's briefing yesterday. And uh, Jason had been making some comments about people getting in the way. Oh, and they're side by side through Lodge Corner. Very clean, I have to say, from both of them. Fantastic driving again. Very clean. But Plato now has the inside line for Old Hall. This could be his opportunity. Down on the brakes they go. And Huff's going to follow him through if he can. And Collard's going to lose two places in one. Oh, no, they're both off. Oh, this is, could be a big hit. What a shame because that had been such a great dice between these three cars. And Rob Collard and Rob Huff end up in the tyres on the exit of Old Hall Corner. Jason Plato's up into third place, fourth place now for James Kay.